everybody and welcome back to our 14 day thankfulness challenge. We are so delighted that you have stuck with us. Day 13 today and I am joined by my amazing husband Stephen Means. Welcome aboard. Well thank you very much for inviting me back. Um, I guess I did a good job the first time. <laughs> you know, you know. Well thank you again and you know this is really done for the kingdom of God. You know, we, there's a lot of things going on in the world as everybody's aware. And one of the th things that we have to do as Christians, as followers of Christ, is to start leading in that positive voice. You know, there's enough negativity out there that we don't need to share any of that because if you want that, it's all around us. So let's go in with a little positivity, positivity and thankfulness. There you go. All right, we'll jump right in to our verse. Day 13 is in Daniel chapter 2, verse 23 in NIV. Oops, I'm going to let Stephen read it because it's too far away. I can't see it with these amazing eyes. Well, you know, with these wonderful young eyes of mine, <laughs> I'll go ahead and do it. There's a big joke there. So, again, this is Daniel chapter 2, verse 23. I thank and praise you, God of my ancestors. You have given me wisdom and power. You have made known to me what we ask of you. Sorry. Molly, Molly came to visit. Us. You have made known to us the dream of the king. Yes, folks, this is real. <laughs> oh, welcome to the farm. All right, well, let's hop on over to our devotion slide. And these are the five ways that we can ask God um, or be thankful um, for God. So the first is, Lord, I thank you for who you are, for how you have shown yourself in my life, for what you have provided, for the people that you've placed in my path, and for where you will guide my future. So, Stephen, I'm going to ask you to close us in prayer today. Well, let's go ahead. Thank you, Lord, for bringing all of these wonderful things to life for us. Thank you for giving us these 13 days to praise you and to thank you. As we look into those five different areas of our life, we need to remember that you are the answer to all questions and you have the future put before us. You know, as we watch the different things unfold around us, we need to make sure that we are still aware that you are the answer and you are the guiding light for all of our questions and our answers. And as we are out there showing you to others to shine your light, we're not here for our light. We're not here to be the, the spotlight on us. We are here to spotlight you. And again, so much that we do is because of you and it's all because of you. It's with these all these things that we do and as we go through this life, just let us be thankful. It's these things that we ask in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. All right guys, thanks for joining us today. Don't forget one more day. So come on back. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next one. Bye.